Hey you guys, it's your girl Kia V all up in the building, all behind your screen, and I am super, super excited. We're about to be talking about a shoe that finally has a release date. It is a shoe that I have been waiting for since I found out it was going to be coming out, and y'all see the picture, so you already know what it is. If not, let me introduce you to the Satin breads you guys the breads are a staple shoe okay they are the most stablest air jordan one i want to say is pretty much out there next to the chicago's even though chicago's is probably first and then it's the breads in terms of ranking i feel like a lot of people come out for both but i feel like you guys love chicago colorway way way more plus it was the first you know colorway to come out and then the breads were a little bit later so I know for a fact that it's going to be a lot of people excited about this release and we finally have a release date and the date is going to be October the 18th. Now I am super, super excited about this shoe. The good thing about this for me personally um, is that it's a woman's release. So I know it's going to be a lot of men that's going to be mad and they're not going to like this video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even know if it's going to come in extended sizes. Lately, they have not been coming out with extended sizes for women's releases. They have literally just made it small feet gang women all day long. So listen, small feet gang gang always. I'm always going to be a part of the squad. All right. So these will be coming out here October the 18th and they are going to be a total of 180 bucks. Listen, the prices increases. Yeah, my pocket fell every inch of it every time that y'all decide to drop something new because I missed them old prices just a little bit, just just a dash. Even though I'd be like $10, $15, $20 difference, I still feel it nonetheless. But I am super excited about the shoe and I do have images of it on foot. So here are some early looks at that guy. Now the whole upper is satin. Okay, that <laughs> that comes with a bit a bittersweet cost, being that the red is so bright, uh, you're gonna be able to see the stain, honey. You're gonna be able to see a stain. You might be able to see some sweat depending on you know the barrier underneath this satin. Um, and you're gonna have to be careful everywhere you go. You're gonna have to spray that rejuvenator, that crep spray, whatever it is to make your shoes waterproof just a little bit. Even then, that I don't even think that work on satin. So you just gonna have to be really, really careful with where you're going with these don't go to the movie theaters you don't know where you're stepping make sure it ain't gonna rain snow nothing there's zero possibilities of any elements coming your way because they will definitely ruin this shoe now based off this picture it looks like it has those wax laces and i mean i guess it helps keep the whole shiny appeal of the satin come together with the laces typically i don't like those because they be so stiff <laughs> if you know wax laces you know that they are a little stiffer than regular laces um so you got that little detail on there now since these haven't come out officially and a lot of people haven't snuck to get their hands on them i don't really have a picture of the whole shoe going around you know the top and the bottom but if you know the bread colorway you already know how it's stacked up um and the last bread colorway that actually came out were the patent leathers now let's talk about that. Uh, your girl had two pairs of those at one point. I ended up selling them uh, and I kept one, but I thought that they were going to go up ridiculous, like a crazy amount. And I'm no reseller. I, I I can't do it. I'm not about to hold nothing for, for five years, 10 years, 12 years to get a dollar profit. So I flipped it as soon as I could. Um, but I do think that this shoe might not be, you know, up there in terms of resale flipping but i'm not sure i don't know i don't know listen don't let me speak on it like i said i'm no reseller i don't know though i don't know air jordan ones haven't been popping but i feel like maybe with this bread colorway i feel like when they first release depending on the quantity um the resale is gonna be high and then people get their pair and they'll tank the market you already know but listen we buy our shoes to rock them so i ain't worried about that i just hope that i get my pair for retail that's, that's it i got to get my pair for retail if I don't get my pair for retail, I'm shutting everything down. Everything getting shut down. But I am super, super excited about this shoe coming out here. Like I said, they've been treating the ladies real, real good. We got Frozen Moments. We got these. We got a couple other Jordan ones that are going to be coming out here soon um, for the ladies. So they've really been keeping us in mind. And these are super, super dope. Super dope. I absolutely love these. And if I was rich, I would buy a double pair because I am scared about getting them messed up. 
but I'm going to walk cautiously. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk cautiously. So that is today's break-in sneaker news. Let me know, ladies. Are you guys looking forward to these? These are so beautiful, okay? Absolutely beautiful. I want a pair for sure. Like, these are just so stinking clean and sharp. And since I have the patent leather ones, I need the satin ones as well. Because I don't have the originals and I don't have any of them in the regular leather. So... Listen, this is the best I can do until y'all decide to finally come out with them again. But here's another on foot picture. Somebody stepping up on something. <laughs> but these are really, really clean and I'm totally here for it. And that's today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like content like this, definitely hit me with a big old thumbs up. Let me know. Are you excited about these? Are you passing on these? Um, subscribe up. Ring that bell so you're notified every time I post a video. Y'all know I love talking about my sneakers. So I had to bring y'all some sneaker content because it's been a minute. We talked about some Crocs the other day. So now we back with sneakers. Yeah, I, I'm still a sneaker lover. Don't play. Don't play. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And you already know. I will see you later. Bye.